on guys got a super quick tech tip here this is a two-part tech tip if you want to say that three times fast if you've got one of these little field piece psychrometers the PRH2 I like it pretty good it does plenty good enough job for me I like the size of it UEI makes one that's a little bit bigger it's got a nice big display on it with a backlight and everything but it's just a little too big for me I like the size of that one I like how it fits in my pocket in my tool bag but if you don't want to stand around holding the thing all day long, waiting on it to get your temperatures, just go to the craft store, get a little small rare earth magnet. You can see how little that is. And just sand the tool down, sand the magnet down, scuff up your surface a little, get you some good super glue, and you can see that's plenty enough to hold that thing up there. So that'll save you a little time. You could be doing something else while that thing's slapped on there. And if we can see our wet bulb, man, it's hard to get. The big number is humidity. Wet bulb's on top. Well, 60, what was it, like 61 or 62 degree wet bulb. That's right there at 62. All right, so in a pinch, if you don't have anything to get wet bulb, get a paper towel, wet that thing in the sink, wring it out until it's almost all the way wrung out, not really dripping, but still wet throw it on the return about 30 seconds on there 45 seconds or something like that as long as you've got a gun that you can trust the temperature on and you can see we're running about 62 63 somewhere right in there that's right in the ballpark close enough for government work so that's hopping around from 60 61 62 right in that range and you know if you shoot it over here you can see the dry bulb is 71 but then you see the difference there so see we're right there at 61 62 depending on where you hit it 59 kind of jumping around so that is right in the ballpark that's plenty close enough to get the super heat within that you know five degree range so in a pinch that does work i've tested it numerous different times but i like this little field piece it works pretty good it's small fits in there and everything seems to be accurate i've tested it up against some of my other tools so anyway, get you a magnet, stick it on there, then you don't have to stand around holding it all day. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. See you.